हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ गौरव जगदीश पाठक एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर विद एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर योग इन इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडाइनामिक्स द टॉपिक ऑन विच टुडे वी आर फोकसिंग इज जीरो लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनामिक्स एंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर इन थर्मोडाइनामिक्स सो फ्रेंड वॉट द लॉ स्टेट ए लॉ स्टेट दैट वेन द बॉडी ए इज इन थर्मल इक्विब्रियम विथ बॉडी बी एंड ऑल्सो सेपरेटली विथ द बॉडी सी देन बी एंड सी विल बी द इन थर्मल इक्विब्रियम विथ ईच अदर दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट बाय जीरो लॉ सो by comparing these three bodies with different temperature but with with equilibrium position with another two is the nothing but the presentation of zero law of thermodynamics in front of your screen you may see the presentation for the particular zero law now what is the thermal equilibrium and temperature consideration factors in zero law of thermodynamics that is a thermal equilibrium is the set to be the exist between two systems if both the systems have the same temperatures and if there is no heat transfer between the systems then in microscopic approach the temperatures can be defined as the average kinetic energy of molecules in macroscopic approach it will be defined as the property of system and by the temperature it can be defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of the particular body that is the if the body is giving the different temperature that is hot or cold then it can be said as what it will be nextly in equilibrium with another one that is surrounding temperature on the basis of that our psychological sentence sensations we express that the level of temperatures are quite with words like freezing cold warm extremely hot etc these are the different state of temperature and equilibrium position of body and the temperature is directly proportional to each other that's why the zero law of thermodynamics and temperature are very concerned term with each other so it is very necessary to study the terms simultaneously but we cannot assign numerical values for the temperature based on this sensation alone since it may be misleading so the continuous heat dissipation from hot body towards cold body is continue and the temperature of hot body is decreasing and the temperature of cold body is increasing that is the transform of heat will be takes place and this heat transfer will be takes place whenever both the bodies are on the same temperature now thermometry is one of the important aspect in this concept that is the thermometry is the branch of thermodynamics which is concerned with measurement of temperature and the design use for thermometers in order to measure the temperature a reference body used in the certain physical characteristics of this body which changes the temperature is selected the change in the selected characteristics may be taken as the indication of change in the temperature the selected characteristics is called the thermometric property when the reference body which is used in the determination of temperature it is called thermometer we have already discussed about that 
when the temperature of the hot body is continuously decreasing while the temperature of cold body is continuously increasing now this increment and decrement in temperature we can have to measure and record the particular temperature on points that's why to measure the this temperature we required the thermometer now the triple point of water the triple point of water is used they are fixed point of temporary since thermometry it is means that the statement which water coexist into the three phases wise solid liquid and gases the temperature of corresponding to the triple point at 0.01 degree celsius and 611 partial vapor pressure of water in front of your screen you can see the line diagram of or graphical representation of pressure versus temperature graph where the three phases of water are given and as the temperature rises the solid form that is ice is converted into liquid form that is general water and further temperature rising into the liquid is go to the vapor form that is the gaseous form of water this is called the three point method to transform phase of water from particular area now to measure these all three points types of thermometers are required and that is various types of thermometers are there one of them first one constant volume gas thermometer second one is constant pressure gas thermometer third one is electrical resistance thermometer thermocouple mercury glass thermometer and last one is a pyrometer now what is constant volume gas thermometer in front of screen you may see the bath or construction to be measured is to be submerged into the bowl and the scale which is fitted between the two limbs of the water or the mercury fitted limbs now at the bottom of flex bottom of two limbs there will be the flexible house is given and as the height of the limb varies the mercury level we can count the scale reading and give the reading for the volume of particular gas the in constant volume gas thermometer pressure is the thermometric property and as the name suggests the volume is kept constant another one is constant pressure gas thermometer and the apparatus used in the same as that of constant volume thermometer in the same way electrical resistance thermometer and the line diagram shows the electrical resistance thermometer these are all used thermometers for particular measurement of temperature this is all about thermometers and their type use application thank you friend thank you very much